Good morning, options traders, and happy Friday, everyone. And I just thought it would be helpful for everyone in the group if I posted a quick video about a comment that one of the other traders made the other day about a beautiful candlestick pattern that had occurred and how it played out so beautifully. It's one we had been talking about during a coaching call, and it was a hanging man that occurred on the QQQs, on the NASDAQ 100. So what is a hanging man and what makes it so powerful? Well, a hanging man is one of many types of single candlesticks, and it is simply a hammer pattern that occurs at a top. So if this hammer occurs at a top, they actually call it a hanging man. This is what it looks like over here, and you have to kind of use your imagination, but this is kind of like the person's head up here, and these are the feet dangling down. So it's still a hammer. It's just that if it occurs at a top, they give it a special name, and they call it a hanging man. So when we see this hammer at a top, the candle color isn't so important, although we would prefer to see it red if it's occurring at a top. If it's occurring at a bottom, we'd prefer to see it green. But again, it doesn't really matter. It's just the fact that it is a hanging man at a top. So regardless of the candle color, it shows that bears are present. This is the key. If we're seeing that bears are present after a long extended uptrend, you have to ask yourself, well, why do we suddenly think they're going away on the opening bell tomorrow? It shows a sign of indecision. It didn't happen today. We didn't get the reversal today, but people are starting to think that it's becoming more of a sell than a buy. So this whole notion of indecision is really the basis for all of your candlestick reversal patterns. So for those who may not be familiar with candlesticks and how they're formed, the colored portion right here, which is called the body, is the opening, and this would be the closing. Again, this is if it is red. This would be our opening price up here, and this is the closing. And because the close is below the opening, they make the body red to show that we closed lower. This long black line through here is called a shadow, technically, although a lot of people call them wicks. The top of it shows the highest trade, and the very bottom down here is the lowest. As a basic rule, the lower shadow should be two times or more the body length. So this is the body length, and this lower shadow should be probably two to three times the size of this body. The longer, the better. It's going to show that there are more bears present. Now there's a variation of this that is called a shaved candle or a marabozu. Notice that it doesn't have this upper little stub right here. And what that means is that from the opening bell, we just traded lower. And so throughout the day, we traded down. At some point, we came all the way down here. But then by the closing bell, we had come up to here. So we still closed lower. So this is why I said earlier that we would prefer to see a red body at a top, but it doesn't really matter. If this had been green instead, the bottom of the candle would be the opening and the top would be the close. And what that would show is that, yeah, the bulls won by the closing bell, but we still had bears present. You can't deny that. This is really the key, is that there was a long lower shadow, not so much the color of the body. But again, if we also get a red candle on top of it, it shows that not only were bears present during the day, but they managed to push prices lower off the opening bell. So it just makes a signal a little stronger. So let's take a look at a detailed example and see why a hammer or a hanging man is so powerful at a top. Let's say that this is our formation going into our hammer up here or the hanging man. So the longer this trend, the more powerful. You don't want to see a hanging man just occur somewhere in a sideways trend. That's not a hanging man. We want to see a long, powerful, extended rally. And then we get this signal this candle right here. What is that telling you? We'll take a look at the previous day. We closed up here because the top of the box is green. And then what happened? We gapped up off the opening bell. So it looks like the bullish trend was going to continue. And in fact, it did. We had an even higher trade, the top of this shadow up here, but it didn't last. And then we had the bears start to push prices lower. So you have to think, again, that's a little odd, isn't it? We had this big, extended, bullish trend through here. But for some reason, on this particular day, 
The bears were present. Lots of them. That's again why we'd like to see this long lower shadow. That's the key. And so once you get a hanging man at a top, and again, the longer this extended trend is, the better, you're probably going to see prices reverse. So let's jump over to the Thinkorswim platform and take a look at the signal that we got on the QQQs. All right, so now here's the Thinkorswim platform. Here's QQQs, and let's zoom in here a little bit. So right here on this high trade, now this was on 9.2, but the idea is look back here. We had this long extended uptrend. Just think bullish, bullish. Everybody's bullish through here. And then we get this hammer pattern at a top. And in fact, it's a shaved candle. Might be a little difficult to see, but really no upper shadow on there. So this would be a hanging man, again, because it's a hammer at a top. What does that tell you? Sign of indecision. Now, is this guaranteed to fall? Of course not. But it's a sign that you should at least do some aggressive hedges at a bare minimum. So you might do some aggressive rolls. Maybe you take your 90 delta call and replace it with three 30 delta calls. You've still got 90 deltas, but you've at least removed a lot of money off the table. Lots of things you can do, but you have to recognize the signals. So what did it do? Right there and as I've talked about in other classes, your major moving averages. This is why we watch them. This red line right here is the 50-day moving average, and it will act as support when you fall from the top. And so for the last yesterday and then two days ago, supported right off the 50, right to the penny. So if you know how to read these signals, that's a better than a 10% drop right there. It would either be a beautiful play by itself for a bearish play, or a wonderful way to do an aggressive hedge and repurchase down here at the bottom. Because what a lot of traders don't realize is that when you are rolling your call options, mathematically you are buying puts. And that's why it can be so powerful, whether you're playing the bullish or the bearish side. But you've got to see your candlestick patterns and also have some pretty good ideas where the support and resistance levels will be. So that's what we were talking about, and here's a perfect example of how it played out. So if you like the idea of candlesticks but aren't real sure how they work, I do have a training course on my website which will explain all the ins and outs and the powerful signals you can get from understanding candlesticks. So for anyone who'd like to learn more about the art and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course and Strategy Lab, as well as the Candlesticks course, all at optionsa-z.com. Also, please join us on the Facebook trading group, Options A to Z, and you can find a link in the description below.